making some easy chocolate chip uh, cookies today using the stand mixer. I'm going to just turn it on. Uh, you can see some settings, custom, whip, cream, mix, beat, and knead. I'm going to turn this down to the cream setting because I have some butter and egg, brown sugar, and vanilla in there. And I'm going to press for time. And I only, I'm only going to do it for a very short time because I've already started the system here. It actually asks, and I'll just show you how it works. It asks, the recipe asks for one minute, 50 seconds on the cream setting. And it automatically will speed up as the time passes. So you can see it working away in there. This is the cream stage of the cookies. And I'll just wait a couple more seconds here so you can actually hear it speed up. It, the custom setting, you can set your own speed and time. But there you go. It will gradually speed up as this process continues. So just hang on to part two here. So the cream cycle just ended, so I'm going to press cancel. Then I'm actually going to show you, there's a lock button at the back that you lift it up. And I'm going to put in a cup of flour plus two tablespoons, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a little bit of salt. And we're now we're going to turn it on. So you have to lift that up again. Sorry if my arm's in the way. Lift it up again to lock it again. You can see it's locked. This time I'm going to turn the dial to mix. And I don't want the full 230 seconds. I only want, believe it or not, 45 seconds. So I'm going to turn the dial down to 45 seconds. There it is. And I'm going to press start. So you'll see that it already is a little faster. So it's going to mix that up. And when there's 10 seconds left, I'll pause it and I'll put in the chocolate chips. So the time's almost to 10 seconds. You can see it counting down. This is the nice part. And I'm just going to press pause and it will stop it. I'm going to add in our three quarter cup chocolate chips. I'm going to press the start button again and let it incorporate those chocolate chips. And then I have the stone bar pan and the large scoop all ready to go. Just to show you how to get this off, you just twist it and lift it. I'm just going to set it to the side. And then you do have to press the lock again. I just want to push that over. I've got my bowl and batter scraper here. I'm going to just scrape the dough into the middle. And then a scoop at a time. And I'd be using the large scoop. Not quite full. I'm just going to put them on the stone bar pan and bake them. And we're going to have some yummy chocolate chip cookies this afternoon. Have a great day.